I have this video playing game on a loop in my head. It's America's Next Top Model. One of the contestants has a big booty and not much up here. And Tyra tells her, it just would be nicer if the top matched the bottom, if you were more proportional. This video I saw at age 13 was quickly compounded by every women's magazine, how to get that summer bod, are you a pear or an orange, the truth about tummy tucks, when to start Botox, legless to stay toned, Michelle Obama yoga pose, elongate that neck, puff out your chest, suck in your stomach, stop breathing, breathe only when other people aren't watching, stop eating, high carb, then low carb, then no fat, is it still a diet? If you're always on a diet, I've tried it. All of it in an attempt to raise my self-worth in a world where pretty is a currency, and I have been told too many times it's just two really skinny girls. Mm -hmm. And I've had highs and lows. A difference of 10 kilos in a matter of weeks didn't do the trick as I lost more than you to me less. So I know this is a sickness. But when I am dressed, depending on the day, I see either a goddess or a barrel, Beyonce or dad bod. And I nod when friends give me compliments and tell me not to complain, and I know that guys are into me at least for an evening, in other words, I'm fuckable enough, but an influx of one night stands adds up to alone again, and I'm starting to wonder if my face and my charm and my interest in world politics are just not enough to make up for a shape that will never be perfect. Never ideal at either end of the spectrum. Not your Kate Moss, nor your Kim Kardashian. I am not a peach, a plum, a pear, or a fucking orange. I think I might be a fruit without a name. Juicy and delicious all the same, and I am trying slowly to embrace imperfection, to not feel ashamed of Instagram selfies, going topless, praising every pixel, because self-love is a radical act when you've spent your whole life hating your body. Dear body, the truth is, if I had treated another person as I have treated you, that behavior would be called abuse. And I owe you an apology for the endless measuring up against other women with bigger busts, flatter stomachs, and shinier hair. Proportional or not, I don't care. You are sweet and sour, not a handful, but an entire orchard of boundless, shameless fruit. And what an honor it is to tend to you. Thank you.